bringing fluff in to my house. I didn't. I swear <laughs> I didn't. I have some on my feet, but I don't know where it came from. Uh, all right, so hold on. That's a better shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot better. Can you go a little, a little over there? Funny thing is, he's right over here. <laughs> Hi guys. I'm just a pretty. Did you paint all of these yourself? Yes, these are all my paintings. Damn. Uh, which one do you like? I think. I like this one. Like these. This these one two. is my this favorite, one, maybe. The, this the one is pretty one. good. Yeah. I like this one. He's my favorite. So Tom f***ed it up last time. <laughs> <laughs> What did I f up? You have to be more specific. I f up a lot of things. <laughs> I thought I wanted to talk a little bit about how UK government mm, plan do their history books. So what kind of stuff British kids learn in their history class and how things go because I have little idea about it. For that, we invited Professor Mandy. Hello. <laughs> Professor, I, I have my GCC in history. Oh, yeah. And uh, for that, maybe we should watch the video together. Sure. So. Oh, it wasn't really, we were taught about like Henry VIII yeah. a lot, but we weren't talked about like, weren't taught about relatively recent history about Ireland or Scotland. How's that Not even really. possible? There was a civil war going on, like yeah. England. <laughs> yeah. Like, War, you yes. know, people dying, yes. killing. I think most people, most people <laughs> from mainland England actually, there's a lack of education about the history. I agree. But, but then, would you be careful to Irish people about your like, uh, feeling that you feel sort of same on, under the same culture when you meet a friend? Only after I met Connor, I am a little bit more. Before that, I was googling. I'm like, what? Irish people feel really independent and stuff. I didn't know this. It's <laughs> a very funny story. I didn't have any Irish people. We did the school. bike trip together. <laughs> We added Connor afterwards, and this guy, without even knowing him, like putting up some very bad Irish jokes, like <laughs> top of the hat to ya. Oh, okay. what you said? Oh, yeah, I just I said like top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. Alright, so is, Your South, beard is, full is of South Ireland <laughs> and North Ireland like different countries? Oh, god. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 they're not the same. They are like separated in some are way. Are you serious? Well, hey, I don't know if they're kind of the same. Are you f***ing serious? Are you South Ireland? Yeah, are you South Ireland? No, I know, that's just called yeah, Ireland. Yeah, like yeah, one is North part of the UK. Right, right. but then United Kingdom. So what is the definition of the United Kingdom? Yes. But you can understand the logic. There's a whole European Union Brexit thing that there's a European border between North and South Ireland. The music is perfect, it's just slowly <laughs> like realizing right. your way. United Kingdom, all right, of like Great Guinness Britain also. and Northern Ireland, commonly known as the UK or Britain, is a sovereign country. So that's a country. So yes. that means this is your South country. So South, <laughs> yeah, so South, God <laughs> so South Ireland is like. A, a country by itself. So hang on, where's Dublin? Is Dublin in the north or south? It's the capital Dublin of South Ireland. Oh, all right, okay, so the Republic. All right, this is it. I got it. I got it. I'm so glad Dan said that. Ireland I'm not the only one. <laughs> all the south part of Ireland. Mm -hmm. That is a unique country by itself. In the so European North, north Ireland. So how was the video? Um, it, it was it was a bit frustrating <laughs> to watch, like. I, the questions you were asking, those are the questions that I get from Korean people. What What's written on your passport? The, fu the funny let's, thing let's is, read it out. Someone, let's read it out. Oh, oh, I have an what? answer. Someone said that in the comments, and the truth is, my passport, you know it has like, you know, the, the emblem of yeah. the UK or whatever, it's been completely rubbed off and there's nothing, it's just red. What's the full name of the country we're from? United Kingdom. Of? Of. What, Great Britain? I don't know. United Kingdom? <laughs> I thought we just called United Kingdom. Oh god. <laughs> we live uh -huh. in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Ah, okay. It's on the front of the book. Got it. <laughs> the national animal of, yeah. of England yeah. is a lion. Oh, good the national know. animal of Scotland is a unicorn. So these animals in both of these locations we don't really have. Yes, <laughs> but Scotland's, Scotland's animal is just imaginary. <laughs> That's but pretty cool actually. If you notice, if you look at it really closely, uh, the lion is holding a chain that goes around the unicorn's neck. Oh. And uh, that part around the unicorn's neck Because it's like controlling the unicorn. Yes. 
Wait, really? Yes. Yeah, that's f***ed up. That's yeah, messed up, that's, that's on the passport. Holy crap, That's you're on right. your passport. I never realised that. And the little, the little thing around the unicorn's neck, that's the little crown. So that's like an open representation of Scotland is our little basically. Yes! Wow. Have you never looked at this wow, seriously no. before wow. in your life? What, what do you remember, like, what was the general, like, topics that you covered in history class? Because so, I can approximately remember so what we did. So the biggest ones were World War One and Two. Yes. And then you have um, a lot about like Henry the Eighth. Mainly, you know, you could learn about Black Death a lot. Oh yeah, the Black Death. For me, I think it rem I think it went like Anglo-Saxons mm. and the invasion of the island, and then something, something, something Tudor period. Oh Tudor. Henry oh yeah, 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 Tudor period. Yeah, Tudor yeah. period. Henry, With Henry the Eighth. Yeah. You do Henry the Eighth, and then you do Bloody Mary, and then you do uh, Queen Elizabeth the mm. First, and then make you watch that movie about Queen Elizabeth the First. That's true. Then why? Do you think it's not covered in uh, the history class? That's a very good question. National shame is gonna be my guess. It's gonna be, especially about the troubles in the 1970s, that's still within living memory. There's still people who fought on both sides of those conflicts still living today, and they're not even that old. Mm. And there's gonna be people who are affected by that conflict, like, you know, children of the people who were lost. So you got the thing of like, people are going to have opinions about how it should be taught. Mm -hmm. And it's also like the British government desperately does not want to do things like admit that it's wrong because there's still like lawsuits happening mm. to this day, lawsuits uh. about unlawful death. True. By the case That's of the true. British army. Yeah. So That's even true. in its history textbooks, it does not want to admit that it's wrong. And I think like a lot of the things that happened even before this in the colonial period with you know, the invasion of India, the invasion of the Caribbean. Oh, that was not mentioned at all. Oh, not mentioned at all. Like, there was not even a mention not that we invented. Not even mentioned at all. I, le I learned... <laughs> of all our colonies. About colonial Britain, mainly from comedians doing stand-up sets. Yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. Seriously. And it was massive business. That's that's how we got so rich as a yeah. nation. And it was barely mentioned in our history book. Do you wish you were taught in the history class back in the days? I wish I was taught about more recent history. Um, about big political events, which are still yeah. very relevant nowadays. Exactly. Like, There's well, too many to name. Like you weren't talk, you weren't uh, uh, talked about like the Thatcher government. Yeah. Even though that was one of the biggest things. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Still like, like the Thatcher government, which massively affects. Yeah. I wish we yeah. would talk more about specifically colonialism because mm, it was it had a huge impact. Because yeah, that's what we did on so. every country in the world, and we were the biggest colonial country, mm. and so surely that should be mentioned somehow in our history lessons? Yeah. Like, how do British school children go through the education system without learning about like, <laughs> hey, this huge thing that happened that your country was like the major player in. Yeah, yeah. It's just because, you know, it's... That's not mentioned. Yeah, it's not mentioned like, at all. No. To me, it's more shocking to know that uh, you didn't have access to those materials. Uh. You have to open your Wikipedia to find out yeah, about the, Great the, Famine. Yeah, it's just when, you know, Mickey asks you when you're drinking some beers on a mountain <laughs> in Korea, it's like, oh, oh crap, <laughs> oh crap, I don't know anything. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> and I'm gonna talk to Irish, Northern Irish people uh. next uh. time, and then I'll do, I'll tell you how it went. Okay. You'll be able to see, uh, and hopefully we <laughs> can have all conversation <laughs> together as well. Next I hope time. what we sure. said was okay. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> That would literally be an infinite YouTube series though, if it was just me and you going around from country to country <laughs> that Britain was at one point in charge of a moment and they tortured these people and they did this shit thing, we'd just be like, many. oh wow, we never knew. It's limitless. <laughs> <laughs>